All right, guys, this is example number five. If you don't have a, a copy of this, you can always go to the website uh, and download it. There is a link to the website um, on the YouTube channel there. So this is example number five, and it's just some series parallel combinations, or what we think is series parallel combinations. We're going to see which one is actually different. So pause the video here and see if you can figure out which one is different, whether it's A, B, or C. Okay, now that you've taken a decent look at uh, each of the three of these circuits, let's start with B. Obviously, we can see that this is positive and this is negative on our source, and that voltage is going to be the same all the way across. Each of the resistors are referencing the exact same side of the source. So they have the same voltage, they have the exact same pressure. That's fairly intuitive. Let's see if we can find out which one's different here out of A and C. Okay, maybe B is the one that's different. Let's take a look. Okay, let's look at this resistor right here. Well, this resistor has a path that goes from here back to the positive. So it is positive on this side. And then on this side of the resistor, it has a clear path where it goes back to the negative. So it's negative on the other side. Beauty. So it's obviously in parallel with the source. Let's keep going with the other resistor. This guy is connected into the same place, so this must be positive. Let's see if this part right here references the negative. Beauty. Okay, that comes back to this junction as well. So this is negative on that side. So it looks like they're in, you know, they're a series parallel combination circuit there, but in fact, those two resistors are in parallel. They're referencing the same side of the source. Last one, let's take a look. This is our negative here, so that ties into this side of the resistor. And then let's see if this guy is gonna be positive. I'm just putting positive there, but if we follow this guy back from here over to here, oh, very nice. Goes back to the positive of the source. So these ones look totally different, but in fact, they're the same. Okay. Again, when you're doing your ladder diagrams uh, for shop and everything, you'll have a number of different people come up with different circuits. They will work exactly the same way, but they'll, you know, they work exactly the same way, but they'll be written or drawn completely differently. So let's take a look at C. Maybe that one's the one that's different. Let's do the same thing. Let's start off here. Let's go over here. Looks like this side of that resistor is positive. Okay, let's keep going with that side and see what else is positive. This guy comes over here, comes here, and that line right there is positive, so that means this is positive, and this side of the other resistor is positive. Nice. Okay, now we're going to see whether the other side of each of those resistors references the negative. So from the negative, come over. Just make sure that it ties into the negative. So this guy right here goes to the negative. And over here, we can see that there's a clear path to the negative side of the source as well. Nice. So those guys are in parallel. Everything is the same. They're all written completely in different forms. But each of those circuits will draw the exact same amount of current and you'll, on each of the resistors, you'll have the same voltage and the same amount of current that goes through them, if the resistors have the same resistance value. Okay. Again, it's just to reinforce the fact that there are all different ways to show things, um, but essentially with these guys, all three of them are different, but they're all in parallel. They're all right across the source.